food comes from the supermarket. I'm not one of them. we're doing now is we're trolling some bungees behind the boat this is the bungee cord and then it's just a thick piece of line two more line on a piece of squid and we're trolling now for a uh, long fin tuna <laughs> Hi guys, please like this video and let us know what videos you want to see and go check out our merch on catchcook.com There we go, on on the pink pedal tail It's coming. Yeah. There we go. On sign pink petal tail. Dropping the spinner. Battle tail. See we can't. Look along here. Gaff, gaff, gaff! That's a little yellow, bro! Yellow took me like... Probably a minute and a half, two minutes. So that's what we managed to get from that yellow fin, a nice belly loin. I cleaned it on both sides, cut the belly layer off. Look at all that fat in between the meat. I think this is going to be delicious. Okay, so I got our tuna belly loin. These two tablespoons soy sauce, two tablespoons lemon juice, some lemon zest, mixed herbs, one tablespoon sugar and a teaspoon of garlic and chili mixed and what I've got in here is four tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to add everything into the olive oil. Lemon zest, mixed herb, sugar, teaspoon, 
garlic and chili. You just mix everything up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in our oven tray here. My belly loin in it. I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes, just lying in it. Then I'm gonna turn it around, leave it for 15 minutes, and then it's going into the oven. Okay, so now that the 15 minutes each side has been done, I'm just gonna put some Himalayan rock salt on the one side, and some pepper. I'm gonna turn it around and do the same on the other side. Then I've preheated the oven now at 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna put it in now. And 10 minutes should be more than enough. So yeah, let's see what it looks like when it comes out. It's ready after 10 minutes. And look at that. Look at that. Beautifully done. Look at the grains, yeah. Should just break off there. I'm gonna have a piece and let you guys know how it tastes. Still a little bit of pink on the inside. Don't want to overdo it. But that's absolutely delicious. It melts in your mouth. It's so soft. Mmm. Probably the best tuna that I've done in a while. Yo.